How to recalculate any recipe. Have you ever had the problem of how to resize a recipe that you found somewhere? Maybe you wanted to make more or less than the given yield, or maybe the recipe was just in grams, or because it was described in percentages. In order to do that, we need to have a look at what percentages actually are. Let's say in our example, the recipe that we want to recalculate or resize is a solid body bar. This particular one consists of the following ingredients. A large amount of cocoa butter, a small amount of shea butter, and a small amount of beeswax. Unfortunately, it would be impossible to describe a recipe like that, as it is too imprecise. Therefore, we break it down in percentages, as you can see here. Cocoa butter makes up 70% of the entire recipe, while shea butter and beeswax just 15% each. 100% is the entire thing. In our case, 100% is the total weight of all ingredients combined. If you decide to make only one bar, your 100% would be the total weight of one bar. If you were to make 12 bars, the total weight of all 12 bars combined would be your 100%. But the percentages, meaning the amounts of the ingredients in relation to each other, remain the same, no matter if you're making just one bar or if you were to make 12. Let's have a look at a visual breakdown of our recipe for illustration. So the first thing that we want to establish is what is the weight of your yield? Let's say you use this particular mold that holds 3.5 ounces in each cavity. Multiplied by six, you would get a total yield of 21 ounces. These 21 ounces are your 100%. Now we can take the total capacity of the mold, meaning 21 ounces, and we divide it by 100. We get 0.21 ounces. 0.21 ounces is your 1% in this recipe. Once you establish this 1%, meaning in this case 0.21 ounces, you can multiply it by the percentage of the given ingredient. In this case, we take 70 and multiply it by 0.21, resulting in 14.7 ounces. Next ingredient is 50% of shea butter, so 15 multiplied by 0.21 ounces results in 3.15 ounces. Next ingredient is beeswax with 50% as well, so 15 times 0.21 ounces results in 3.15 ounces. Of course, if you sum up all these figures here, you get 21 ounces, meaning our 100% that we have established before. Now we can apply this calculation to any batch size, very small or very large, the exact same way. It also applies the same way for the metric system using grams or the imperial system with ounces. Let's see another example, this particular mold here holding 12.6 ounces. In this case, our 100% is now 12.6 ounces. We divide 12.6 by 100 and we get 0.126 ounces as our 1% of the recipe. Now we take our first ingredient for this food balm recipe, which is shea butter at 37%. Therefore, 37 times 0.126 ounces, resulting in 4.662 ounces. Next ingredient is coconut oil, also with 37%. We multiply by 0.126 ounces and we get 4.662 ounces. And finally, the third ingredient, beeswax, with 26%. So 26 
times 0 0.126 equals 3.276 ounces. All ingredients summed up again are 12.6, which was our 100%. This is how you calculate and translate any recipe with percentages into the batch size that you want to make. If you are interested in other soap making related videos, check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you soon. Bye!